Hey everybody, and if you remember from my last video, part 6, I said I'd do a new Let's Play and just, you know, build my own prison as I would build with less explaining and more focused on making everything function. Uh, now we're gonna go for kind of filling this all up as we go, getting as much prisoners as we can and just running a good prison in general. Now we had a lot of escapees and bad layout in the last one. I want to avoid all that, so let's unpause and get going. Uh, first things, I'm still gonna do the same thing I did last time. I'm gonna take the garbage, extend that one here, and delete one here to get my four tile thing, because I still like my symmetry, and I'm gonna keep it that way. So we'll put a fence here. Now I wanna get going as fast as I can, because I, again, I wanna be done before those first prisoners arrive and have the basics up. So my workers are gonna be here soon, which means I'm gonna wanna place all my stuff, um... You know, I want to have stuff ready for my workers to do, so they're never doing nothing. Because if I don't do that, we'll probably never be done in time. And that's not going to be nice, because I don't want my prisoners to be waiting here and doing nothing. I'm going to try and avoid all the exploits and bugs of not getting prisoners around as much as I can. So, first things first. Mm, that is way too long, actually. I'm going to undo some of that, like so. Maybe mm, change my mind like this. That's better. Now this here is gonna be my first holding cell. I'm not gonna do it super big just yet. We'll see. Actually, let me rethink that. Let me just do the showers or something first. I want to kind of have everything sort of enclosed so that no prisoners can escape and they don't have any reason to have to walk for like five minutes to get somewhere and make it hard for the guards to do something. So let's do our showers. Now we have two for a wall, then one space, and then one two again, right? That was right, two, space, one, two. Is this too big? I think that's big. Alright, let's count it this way. So this shower, wall, shower, wall, shower, wall, shower, wall, shower. Did I even move? Wall. This should be okay. Don't know. Hoping so. Going for symmetry again. So let's add that first holding cell, shall we? Like, yay big, and let's see, make it enclosed. So this is what I'd want our, not too big, a little bit wider, our canteen to be. And, let's see, this is our kitchen, shower, canteen, they need a yard. How about we make this our yard, and make it a nice outside yard. So, first of all, before I continue, let's add some doors so they can finish the buildings and get on with it. Uh, next up, I'm going to add my utilities. I'm not going to build them on my big section here, but instead I'm going to build them across the road. However, when you do this, keep in mind that you cannot build anything on this last row here on the edge of the map. So you want to keep one open for your capacitators. It's fine to build on the sidewalk though, as you see me do now. Now we're also going to add our water pump station. We seem to be getting one for free, which is awesome. And we're going to link that up with power, and we're going to kind of pull our power over, um, oh, we're out of money. I forgot to take my grants. Not a good thing. Now, I'm not going to take all my grants, only for the reason that I don't want to spam up my entire left screen. That's the only reason. You can take as much of them as you want. It does not matter. So, we're going to hook up the power now that we have money. There we go. And we're going to go up and we'll continue on and give them something to do while we're planning our layout. That way we'll be done in time. The main pipe I'm going to bring here and under the road. That way it'll be close to my buildings because remember, once the building's walls are up, you can no longer uh, pull the large pipes underneath them. It's fine if it's like this, but not once it's built. So we're going to add a couple of doors so they finish building. It doesn't matter where. We can undo them later. I'm using small jail doors just because we'll need a lot of them anyways once we um, build our small cells. So those will be free then and that'll be good. Now the next thing I want to add and get started as soon as possible is my warden's office to get research going. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Remember an office four by four? We're going to add another one um, for the finance. Remember I'm only doing this three up. Um, like this instead of four spaces because this wall here will get deleted because it is adjoined and it will see that so that's good now that's being built doors have been added and kind of stuck waiting let's put on the utilities pull it further and other than that we're a bit stuck this is going to be the yard so we can put our fencing here that's no problem like so and we'll have a nice yard here in fact we can already designate our yard 
that's not a problem. Here we are. We'll add some lights manually, because the game does not add lights for you in the yard, which is a shame. Uh, what else do we want in the yard? A couple of phones, not too much, because they're expensive. And a couple of normal benches and a workout bench. So let's add two of these. Ooh, look at that symmetry, without even trying. Haha. <laughs> And what else do we need, guys? A weight bench. I'm just going to add one, because, I don't know, they don't seem to really actively hover over it to use it. Uh, okay, this is done, so we can designate this as our storage. Remember, it doesn't need power straight away. It'll still store stuff, so that's not a problem. Um, this is what we're going to make the kitchen, and we're going to fence this off here, because we do not want any escapees. Like this, and like this. And I'm going to fence this off as well. Oh boy, not like this. One wide is enough. Because what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use that little path. Something I just thought of. Uh, This little path here to link up my kitchen to my canteen. So my workers, or cooks, should I say, can move safely in between. And then I have to meddle up with the prisoners. And it doesn't create any specific additional... Uh, escape routes for the prisoners because it can really tighten this up with doors and make it very secure. So that's a good thing. Now we're going to add a regular door on this side, but I'm going to make it a jail door on this side. Now, this is just for looks. It doesn't matter. I don't think jail doors are stronger. It would make sense if they are. However, I'm unaware if um, objects have a certain amount of hit points uh, individually, that is. Like, say an object has more than another. I'll have to look into that and get back to you guys on that. Uh, let's add a couple of doors to our offices so they can be completed and we can uh, hire a warden and get research done. Now there's still a lot to be built. I think I already hired two extra workers. Two, three, four, four. I'm not sure if there's six or eight that arrived at the start. I can't remember. Um, just in case I'm going to hire one more, I'll sack him later. Because I want to, I really, really want to get this done, guys, um, before the first prisoners arrive. So that's kind of that. And I think we have all the basics here, right? They need a canteen for food, a holding cell for fun, showers for that, and the yard for that. Nice. So we're going to speed up time. See these guys go about it faster. Now, see here, my capacitor is on the pavement, and it's fine. I'm going to dismantle the light, though, because it looks a bit iffy, and we don't want that. So, so far so good. Once this fence is built, that means our prison is actually fully enclosed. So nobody can get out that way. Now, we're kind of stuck waiting for our builders here. I'm going to designate the kitchen while they're at it, and I'm going to put my objects in. Um, so we neither of us have downtime. Not the workers and not me. Now remember, our kitchen needs cookers and fridges. Oh, we don't need too much at the start. I'm going to settle with three for now. And I'll add in more in the morning as I have a better oversight of what's going on. Uh, we'll add in a fridge over here. And remember, you need a sink to clear out those dirty trays. And later on, you'll probably even need two. Now, this, of course, still needs to be hooked up to the utilities. Cool, that's already done. So let's link this one up and this to the water line. Now, how are the rooms over here going? They're almost done. So as you can see, this is now safe, and I can add jail doors as I please and make it more secure, because every prisoner is going to have to stop and break down one of these doors in order to get through to the next one, and the next one, and the next one, so they can get out. So that's good, that's nice and secure. Now this door, I'm not going to dismantle. Now if you do this by accident, you'll notice that sometimes you can't switch it around. Like, now I've clicked on dump by accident, I'm like, uh-oh, I don't want this to be dumped, but I can't click on this mantle, now what? It's okay, just go on your door, right-click, and the job gets cancelled. Nice. So, let's dismantle it. No! No, 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 no! Stop, cancel, cancel, cancel. There we go. All I wanted to do was set it to staff only. There we go. We're gonna do the same with all these doors. Now, work has been going nicely, so we're actually gonna focus on that now. So we're going to do some inside walls. Remember, this was our holding cell. So we'll block that off. Uh, let's put a... Let's cancel that one. No, actually... Oh, did I select the long, wrong thing, actually? Oops. That's not a problem, though. We can just build over that. Not with concrete floors. I'm not going to waste my money on that. You can just use brick walls. We wasted a bit of money, but it's not a problem. Right, let's see if we can achieve some symmetry here. I'll leave that one open. 
for a door and these will be our small showers now this door down below where I just clicked will be removed I'll do that right away because we don't want any doors leading here so this will be dismantled same goes for this one if I'm fast I can still cancel that for a door and I did nice so that's going and this one is going as well I hope yep so let's add brick walls instead and this one here is gonna be a jail door where's my jail door and have that nice one locked off now we're gonna designate the rooms um, let's see we had this was gonna be our canteen right here oh boy that awkward moment where you designate the wrong thing now you don't have to undo it you can just designate over it it doesn't matter uh, so our canteen is here and where's my holding cell over here Ta-da! nice so that's that and now we'll put out some objects we'll start with well actually let's do utilities first give the workers something to do so they're not slacking off and doing nothing or building themselves into enclosed spaces um let's add a door for that guy and help him out here you go Oh wow, he suddenly magically finds some electric wiring that he can place down, which is good. Okay, now this has to be a door as well. Oh, look at that. Glorious lights. Now, speaking of lights, oh, it's very dark here. Let's add a few. And a couple here. Uh, symmetry be damned on that side. That should be light enough, right? No? Are they going to still... I don't want them to walk around with torches. They might in this small zone. Yeah, let's put one in between then. That's okay. Right, now that's that done. They'll get here soon. That'll be done. Because now they can see that they can access it, so that's fine. Let's get back to our holding cell quickly because it's nighttime already. Now we want some beds in here, enough for our first prisoners. So we'll start with eight beds. Oh no, I just want one space. We want to conserve on space, guys. Right, now I'm going to be nice to my guys, and again, you don't have to do this, I'm going to add toilets in, just for aesthetics, and for, you know, convenience, so they won't have to moan all day, when they don't have free time, and I'm going to add a shower as well, actually, exceptionally, I don't usually do that, and this is just going to be a fancy schmancy toilet. Now, another thing I'm going to add is a couple of TVs, not too much. However, remember, it's only one TV per prisoner to satisfy their needs. We'll add three, and I'm going to add two bookshelves, just around here and here. So that's that. Now let's add our showers, just two. Uh, let's see, one over here and here. Actually, three showers, three showers, and two toilets. Nice, one here. And I'm going to close those off with regular doors, but that's just for aesthetics. It's probably not the best idea. Now, next up, let's move to the canteen. Remember, our canteen needed benches and tables. So, we'll start off in this awkward, asymmetrical... Or, asymmetrical... Oh, that works! Nice! It's a little cramped, but that's okay. Nobody's gonna notice. It's fine. It's all good. So, let's hook them up with tables. And... Let's put our serving tables close to the door, so that our kitchen staff can get there nice and quick. Unfortunately, the space on this is mismatched as well, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be super big, and I kind of have a plan for that, and you'll see why later, hopefully. Uh, so that's the holding cell. It needs benches as well. That's the only thing that's missing. So let's add... Um, unfortunately, we can only do one here, so let's do two like that. Now, this is not nearly enough space or beds, but that's okay. We can expand. It's not a problem. Now our canteen is missing a serving table, they bring that. We're still missing the showers and we're getting close to time, guys. So let's place those shower heads. We don't have to put all of them in. Eight's enough for now. We can add more once our prisoners are here. So let's get that down. And then I want to put my warden down. So we can start my research as fast as possible. Oh boy, we forgot to make this into offices, guys. So one, two, three, four. That's what you need. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Now, let's look for the office, here it is, and let's assign them. Now remember the offices need a desk and a cabinet and a chair, so let's make this for the accountant. Again, our minor staff is going to be facing the wall, and our big important warden is going to be facing the door, so all the prisoners can cringe in fear when they walk in and see our big guy here. I'm not going to place him just yet, uh, I'm trying to get to the filing cabinet, here we go. 
And we're gonna hook up the utilities. Uh, let's hook up those. That's closer. You don't have to go all the way in the room, just going to the wall of the room is more than enough. Now where is my piping? Here we are. Let's get that up here. And... Mm, that's fine. Well, actually, let's go all the way. It doesn't matter. It doesn't cost less... Uh, sorry, more to put the large ones, so I suppose it doesn't matter. So let's get all these babies here hooked up. Nice and quick. Well, oh, I guess we can move this line down. Oh, not too far, though. Remember, we don't want to spend too much money. Actually, I can probably do it like this, you know. It's pro I don't think it'll function less if I uh, do it like this. There we are. Saves us some cross money. Oh, don't need that one. Do need this one, though. And we'll hook that up here and that here. Now, as far as power goes, this line has to go up a little bit. That one is being moved right now. Uh, yard is all the objects. Objects. That has a door, so that's fine. Our holding cells are fine. Do we hook up pipes there? Yes. So, looks like we're ready for the basics. Our first prisoners have arrived, so we'll use our guards. Now, I know we're a little bit late, but that's okay. We're kind of on time. Forgot my kitchen staff. We'll want those. We'll start with three cooks. That's plenty for now. I'm going to sack two workers because we have too much of those guys now. And they're going to be costing us a ton over time. And we don't want that. So how much workers do we have now? Seven. Let's cut it down to six. There we are. So those guys will be moved. Power will come here soon, hopefully. No? No. We have to go one more in. Like that. And I could have stayed in the wall. and it, I'm, I think it would have been fine. Um... Don't know, so let's put these doors here to staff only, very important. And this oddly placed door, huh? That's okay. Right, all of these we want staff only. And let's see, this one? No, just this one, staff only. And this one here, staff only. Now, uh, one of the first things we're gonna do is put our warden down right now and start research. Straight off into the health branch first, actually. Instead of finance, I'm gonna go for health. Why? Because I don't really need this screen right now. I don't need to see this right now. I don't have to increase my da daily spending right now as well, because I'm not spending super much. Now, I think I forgot to add drains, and I added doors instead, which is a bit of a boo-boo in my place. Uh, in my case. Sorry. But that's okay, we can fix that. We'll just dismantle them. We'll use them later for something else, and it'll be fine. Now, I want another guard over. We only hired two guards by accident. So once those are dismantled, I'll put a couple of drains in. Here we are. And hopefully they'll be happy cats, no? Oh boy, I hope he's not bugged already. Because usually when they need to pee forever, it's a bad sign, guys. <laughs> so our workers will get that going. Um... Looks like we're kind of stable and steady here. Up and running, except for the little shower mishap, but that's fine. Our guards are here, they're inching out again, but that's okay. Now, as you can see, the difference between the last one is where they for dinner. Remember, they had to run all this way to the canteen, and it was always disaster, and everybody was spread out. I had to drag my guards over so far. But now, everything is nice and close. Everybody can get there fast, and it's a lot more secure. And I can make it even more secure if I want. I can add more door. Ooh, not there, though. Here, I can set up the staff only, add doors here, and wow. Yeah, we won't have 49 escapes like we did last time. No, 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 that's not going to happen. So, everybody's eaten. Now, another important thing you want to do straight away is adapt your regime. And I'm going to take a little different approach. Now, I know you can completely remove shower time and yard time to and replace it with free time, but I'm not going to do that here because I consider it a bit of an exploit. So, I'm going to keep those. However, I'm going to completely change about sleep. I'm going to make them wake up at um, 5 a.m., at which point they start showering for two hours. They can shower. Then they're going to go to their cells and stay there from 7 a.m. So an hour should be plenty of time for them to remove to their cells. I'm going to move the guards over before we have a mishap here. There we go, and you stay here. Fortunately, but that's okay. It'll be fixed soon. Um, 
So back to the regime, as I was saying, so I want these three hours free. Because at 8 a.m. is when the prisoners arrive, remember, so we're doing this this way. And then as soon as that's done, I'm going to make them eat, because they'll be hungry. And after eat, I want them back in their cells. And then starting at 1, that's when they're going to get their free time. I'm going to add some mandatory yard time. Some more free time. Actually, no, I'll give them free time. They can choose to go to the yard if they want or not. Uh, let's see, I want one more free time between sleep and food because I want to give them a chance to get rid of all the needs they still have before they go to bed. Now remember, before eat we have nothing, just in case, you know, something happens and we're going to keep a control of the situation. So this is how I like it for now. That's how we'll keep it. How much sleep do they have? Mm, not super much. Let's see, let's move uh, dinner an hour early. And then that free time over here. Hello. There we go. And an hour extra sleep. Perfect. So it looks like it's dinner time. Let's move guards over. Two should be nice. Actually, why are you here at six? I think it's... Yeah, it's food time. Even though our cooks have, like, nothing. Good job, guys, being so slow. But they'll catch up eventually. Now let's continue building. Our research is going fine. Uh, we might add a little medical office here. That's not a problem. Uh, we can keep everything safe and controlled now. And we should get to work on our individual cells, because remember, it's not going to stop here. Our next prisoners will be arriving soon. And this is way too small for them. So we need to start working on everything. And we'll do that in the next episode. So thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.